So maybe you've heard that you can do a lot of uh, really neat data analysis in Excel 2010, but you haven't been able to find menu options or things that your coworkers or classmates have described to you. And that may be because you need to turn those features on in Excel. And I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to show you the benefits of doing that. In a previous example, uh, I showed you how to construct this graph uh, using husband's age and wife's age. But now what I want to do, for example, is maybe take this data right here and I'm just going to copy it and paste it to another uh, sheet here. Just do that. And I want to make it larger again so that you can see it. And I know I want to do some things like find the mean, the median, the mode. Um, and these are perhaps very repetitive calculations that I do all the time. So I'm tired of using the built-in functions and setting this up one at a time. So I want to do something that's called, oh, and I set my screen too small, something that's called data analysis. And let me resize this so that you can see it. Now, <clears throat> When you click on the data tab, if you make sure you have a data tab, you may not have this group called analysis. And if you do, you may not have this particular button. Now, this is something that is available in Excel. It's part of Excel, but you won't see it unless you enable this particular add-in. Very easy to do. How do you do it? Now, this is Excel version 2010. I'm going to click on File. When you click on File, come all the way down to Options. And when you do, now you're going to see a whole bunch of things that you can do, but we're going to come all the way down here to Add-ins. Once you click on Add-ins, you may see the same list or different list that um, that has already been added into your computer. You say, I didn't even do that. It was, you know, it was just done as part of it. That's fine. You can actually see here that that I have the analysis tool pack already turned on and that's why I was able to show it to you. But don't be discouraged by that. You probably do not have this in, in your list. This is still going to work for you. Come down to the very bottom where it says manage and it should by default say Excel add-ins. You do nothing except for click on the go button. So first of all, let's just quickly recap that. File, options, add-ins, go. When you do, you're going to see, look at this, all kinds of things. A solver, add-in solver is a very powerful tool. It's wonderful. A, a currency tool, if you do conversions, you may like that. Analysis tool back with Visual Basic. And in my case, I just simply want Analysis Tool Pack. Now, for you, this is probably not selected, and, and you do want it. If I unselect this, I want to show you that, show you something. See this data analysis? Gone. That's why you don't see it on your computer. But File, Options, Add-ins, Go. Check that box. So you do want this checked, Analysis Tool Pack. Click OK. There it is. Why did they do that? I don't know. But now that you have this, you can do all kinds of neat things. Select the data, for example. Now remember, just because the very first cell is not in blue, that's okay. Click on Data Analysis. And goodness, look at all the neat statistical things that we can do. I am interested in descriptive statistics. I'm going to click that. I'm going to click OK. Now, my input range I've already selected, but let me just make sure. See how my cursor is flashing there? Let me just make sure that it has that. Um, do I have a label in the first row? No, I chose not to select that, but if I did, that's no problem. I just select that. Now, where do I want to output what it's going to output to me? In a new worksheet or just simply someplace um, else? Well, I want to tell it. Now, I clicked Output Range. I made sure to click in this box again because I want to tell it, just output it right here. Okay? Now, lots of different, you know, I can get summary statistics, confidence levels, largest and smallest. I, well, let's, we can check almost everything. We'll just check a whole bunch of stuff. Set this up the way that you want it. Click on OK. Look at what Excel did. It said, here is the mean. Well, let's just double check that. I am going to, uh, I'll click down here at the bottom. Let me go back to my home tab. And I'm 
So I've put in the formula for average here and look at that, 30.72727, exactly what Excel calculated. Now Excel has also gone on to calculate the median, the mode. It's telling me the smallest or the minimum number, the maximum. It's giving me the sum, telling me about skew. I mean, there is just all kinds of information uh, in this descriptive statistics. How did I get to that? Well, it was under my data tab, and I got there by clicking data analysis. If you don't see data analysis, remember, you have to enable the add-in. So I hope that helps. This is an Excel 2010.